Hi folks, welcome to the channel. If you're new, thanks for coming by. If you're a new subscriber, I absolutely adore you. I think you're amazing and I appreciate you so much. Now, I don't say that all the time, so it's not like a rehearsed speech. You go back through my channel and you'll see that uh, I never say stuff like that, right? I appreciate my brand new subscribers and I really appreciate my, my other subscribers. I don't know, that, that just sounds like I'm playing favorites, but I'm not. I love all of you. I love each and every one of you. Now, today is a fabulous day. No, I still don't know if the cat's pregnant. That's that's not it. But it is now November 1st. So you know what that means in Ontario? No fire restrictions. I'm going to go out and burn all the crap in my yard and get my house back. It's going to be freaking amazing. I can't wait. It's raining. I'm setting up some tin all around and I'm just burning all that crap right in the driveway. A little bit at a time because we don't want it to get out of control, right? I had a fantastic Halloween. Sorry if some of you didn't find my joke funny, but my husband did because he just about split a gut laughing. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that would be you. <laughs> Knock on someone's door. Hi, here's a pamphlet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and off I go. Right? <laughs> so anyways, and I'm not even, I'm not even JW, I promise. No, I am an ordained minister and I probably shouldn't swear but I'm still a real person anyways, okay? And the world needs a lot of that when you're just too uptight, too stuffed shirt, too thing in a knot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, then that's when you lose touch with other people. People like it when you're real, right? So if I was American, I'd be garbage. Woo! <laughs> but I'm Canadian. So anyways, today I'm going out there and I am taking back my house. I really am. There is so much stuff in here. Our fire restrictions start from April 1st until October 31st. And we can't have a fire until like, um, I don't know, around 7 o'clock kind of thing. Right? And then it has to be put out two hours after dawn. So around here, I have bears. <laughs> okay. yeah, you watch my videos. I got bears. And the last thing I want to be doing is sitting out there in the dark, right, having a beverage or six or what have you, and be worried about a daggum bear sneaking up on me, right? Because, you know, he smells the chicken, smells the goats and things like that. And it's like, no thanks. And I always have Doritos or a bag of chips, right? So while I'm crunching on those, I'm not hearing him coming up if he's coming in, right? So anyways, I don't live that far from the dump. I don't know. But we get a... I don't know how many miles it is to the, the dump for the community, right? It's really in the car, probably about 15 minutes. But, you know, bears can travel hundreds of miles when they when they get their own territory and whatnot, right? So, anyways, I don't want to be outside and have some bear come sniffing up on me because, no, oh, man, I'd probably try to adopt the damn thing and it'd eat me out of house and home. And when there's nothing left to eat, probably eat me. So, anyways, I'm so excited today because I get to have my fires. It's 3 o'clock now. It's raining. This is the perfect time to do it. And I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time out there doing that, getting that done. Because there's so much stuff in this house. Oh, my goodness. Like 16 rooms and they're all packed full and it's messy. Uh, I don't have enough boxes for everything. So, I just kind of look like a hoarder because i got to keep piling things up in the corner. I get it all neat and tidy, and then them cats get chasing a squirrel, <laughs> and everything comes crashing down. Comes crashing down the stairs, right? i got books everywhere. So I would never burn a book. Absolutely not. I will never burn a book. I like my books, because one day, if the internet ever goes down, then at least I've got, you know, a couple hundred books that have good information, some good stories. It's a good way to pass the time. And books are educational. Even if some of them are outdated, you know, it's still educational if, if there is nothing else, right? So, with that being said, you guys get to come out with me. I'm leaving this stuff up here. I had to put this another cover on this couch because everybody keeps wanting to get hair all over it. And this was my mama's couch, right? Nice and red. And as you can see, it's, it's a pretty red color. See how I got stuff all stacked up? So, anyways, today is the day. Oh, look at that. The sun's starting to come out. How awesome is that? There's no snow. It's all melted. So it's going to be a fabulous, fabulous day. So I'll take some pictures, and then I'm going out to camp later this afternoon to see what kind of damage has been done out there. I haven't been out to the camp all summer, like I say, because bears and stuff. And 
So I can't wait to go out there and get started on that because pretty soon those little farts are going to be sleeping. <laughs> but not me. It's going to be an amazing fall and amazing winter. I'm so excited. Oh, then you should see all the wood that's stacked. You're going you're gonna to be like, holy crap, Amy, you've been busy. I'm always busy. If I, if I worked as fast as I talked, man, this house would be spotless. But there's no time to clean house. There's too much good stuff to do outside. Go have fun. All right, I got to go. I will see you all in a little while. Keep smiling. Be good to one another. Keep your moonshine on, okay? Hammy loves you. Bye.